This is the biggest mistake when it comes to monetizing what it is that you do, or I do for that matter. But I can put it into perspective. Whenever I was had my telecommunications business, right before I started, I was I, I was always in sales, and so I would sell phone systems right to businesses, <clears throat> big dollar amounts, you know, anywhere from three and four thousand up to. 30, 35,000. I think it's probably the biggest one that I personally sold. It may have sold something bigger than that, but that was a ballpark of where it was in the, in the field that I played. At the end of the day, it basically boiled down to, for all intents and purposes, half was revenue, profit, I should say. The whole thing was revenue, obviously, but the half was probably gross profit. And once I kind of wrapped my mind around that, I didn't know that to begin with, but once I kind of wrapped my mind around that and realized what was going on, going from a salesperson in that arena to a business owner or, or a solo entrepreneur, I was like, well, heck, I could, well, you know, what's keeping me from doing that? And the one thing was not sales, but, you know, getting the systems installed. And so I had come around a guy, got good friends with a tech was a magician. <laughs> I mean, he basically could figure out how to install a phone system with, um, you know, with the back of his hand. And I would watch him work with these wires and do this stuff and program systems. And I'd be like, dude, what? I mean, couldn't quite grasp it until I hung around him a little bit more. And it came to the point where I realized, okay, I could hire him. He'll be extremely happy for what I pay him per hour. And then Based on that, uh, I can keep the profit. So just to kind of put that into, persp into perspective, I think whenever he was working for the companies that I was working for, he was making 20 bucks an hour, right? Installing the phone systems. Ha perfectly happy with that. The thing is, uh, companies and businesses that do that and, and service that kind of work would charge on the order of at the time, maybe 80 to 100. I ended up charging 125, 150 bucks an hour for that type of work. And so the thing is, if he was willing to do it for uh, 20 for a big business, and I was happy to pay him 40, I think, an hour to do it, and we we're both extremely happy, that's the biggest monetization mistake on both of our parts. For one, him, he undervalued what he was doing because if he could do what I could do, he could make is what I, what I was making. So, but he was happy to make 20 bucks an hour, 40 bucks an hour, whatever it was I was paying him, and I was happy to pay it. And so that's the biggest mistake, working on an hourly basis. Hourly. You're, you're, <laughs> the projects were worth more to me, way more than that for me, and, and to pay him per hour and me keep the difference is a huge, not a mistake because we both made out, but in terms of creating content and solving problems for businesses and solo entrepreneurs, coaches, consultants, if you're able to do that and you're only charging per hour, if you're a coach only charging per hour, you're greatly underestimating your value. The other one, is and I hinted at it is charging by the project. So let's say you're going to put a project together, you're going to build a website, charge two, three, five grand for it, where it's a set amount. That's mistake number two, which is undervaluing. That's the mistake is undervaluing your work, your worth, placing under, not valuing it enough. So, but, so if a business is going to be able to, at the end of the day, generate 10, 20, 30 times this because you put this into place, good for you if you're happy making the five grand. They're extremely happy to pay it if they're going to make 10 times that amount. That much. They'll, do it, they'll do it however many times it takes. So at the end of the day, charge your value based on the result. So... If someone is not getting to where they need to be in terms of what they are valuing, another put this in perspective. If it took me charging you ten grand to help you figure out the value that you brought to the marketplace, in other words, if it realized you 100, 150 thousand 
per year, you'd pay 10 grand all day long, every day, every all the time. Same thing with what you're doing. If you bring in a result to a business that's uh, on an exponential a order of magnitude greater than what you're charging, especially if it's on an hour. I got a friend that <clears throat> he was in, he's in the automation uh business automation space and he was he, he's he had he was in that business had sold it has been retired and just kind of waiting out a non-compete before he kind of gets back into things and he was telling me oh, i think um, i had this company reach out to me and to you know work for however much an hour 120 bucks an hour whatever it was i was like sounds like a lot but dude that's a mistake i, I whether i verbalize that or not that's the thought i had in my mind because at the end of the day if he's charging per hour and they're willing to pay him that that expertise is worth way more than any hourly rate that he's going to get so and then on top of that if you could charge per project that's the next step but it's still at the end of the day undervaluing so charge what you do based on the result that you get and do it fast <laughs> speed Beats quality. I heard Grant Cardone say that the other day. And that kind of put me on my heels. But anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm David Bridge Jr. I'll see you in the next one.